The problem with Queen Vashti was not a just a disrespect problem. It was an honor problem. She could not honor the king. And the Bible says that they said to themselves, his advisors, that if we don't banish her, then other women will not honor their husbands in their houses. And husband is master in the house. Now I want to speak to the ladies. I've been touching on the men a lot. Honey, I know you are come from the rave. I know you're probably more educated than your guy. I know you probably have the car better than the guy. You've got the house going on. The husband is master. Single ladies. Single ladies. All the single. If you don't want to have a boss, let me put it like that. Don't get married. The problem with marriage is this way these days is that the women want to be the boss. <laughs> and two heads form a monster. It doesn't matter what you think your husband has or does not have. But he is the, the Bible says, he is the master. So I know the world is in equality. Who's, who's, what, 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 equality? Women, femininity, whoa, whoa. Listen here. You will be doing whoa, whoa, women in femininity, femininity whatever. And you will be single until you are eight years. <laughs> because men don't want another man in the house. Isn't it we didn't have a women's conference, so I'm talking to you. doesn't matter what qualification as a woman you think you have a husband is master Sarah called Abraham my lord Anita if I have no boss if you don't want a boss you know what you do as a woman you wanna you suggest yes you don't tell them what to do you suggest a wise woman suggests if your husband is saying let's go to the left you don't come and say, no that left is wrong we're going to the right you say daddy you know i was thinking i was thinking you know yeah that, i think that left hand side may have a bit of a problem I was just thinking daddy what if we went to the right but anyway the choice is yours then you go out and say here help me you say father fix that hand fix that hand and that's why it's so important for women I tell women don't marry a head you don't trust because some of you are marrying for six pack you are marrying for chocolate you are marrying for what what looks you are marrying for the mercedes they are driving now huh. or you are marrying because you want to be able to do that thing legally after you have done that thing many times whew, it's so exhausting you are gonna do what the head is not right six pack or no six pack head of the house I think the most important thing you must be checking in the men every day you wake up father in the name of Jesus help that head fix that head give wisdom to that head make that head make sense in the name of Jesus that should be your only prayer because whatever you are trying to build if that head has knee like a knee He's going to lead you to the ditch. So sisters, marry a head that is fine. Ask him, how is your relationship with money? Huh? How is your relationship with money? How is your relationship with soap and water? Yes! Some of you like to sleep on the chest and maybe he wants to bath once a week. Are you going to survive the armpit? You want to come for one-on-one, -on -one, Mama? I, 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 I can't stand this guy. You never asked him. Maybe he believes in bathing twice a year. What's your relationship with Cologne like? Do you believe?
believe in cologne? What about the halitosis? Do you believe in brushing once a week? <laughs> you need to ask the relevant questions because some of you get so desperate for marriage that the things you should have sorted before marriage, now you want one-on-one -on -one with mama and papa. And I'm thinking, I'm not about to tell your husband that he's got an armpit problem. You should have told him. But at least if he's got an armpit problem, it can be solved. You just buy expensive cologne and say, my husband, ta -da, I've got something for you. If it's the mouth, you just say, yo, you know, we got surprised by this expensive toothpaste. Don't you want to give it a try? Or something like that. <laughs> we are counseling you through you should have sorted at the beginning <laughs> ministry of arms hmm? don't just rush into marriage but trust their ahead. do you know that in Esther the book of Esther is the only book in the Bible that does not mention God it's the only book in the Bible when I studied that I realized that it does not mention God and neither does it mention a prophet Come on. so it means for the first time in the Bible God trusted a woman to stand in his place as him Come on. Come on. Esther stood representing God yes. in the word it's of the God only place in the Bible where you read a whole chapter and there is no mention of God you only hear that they fasted and they prayed why because God could trust a woman to change the course of a nation ah, some of you are against women you need to take another look at women and understand how much God values women how much God trusts women Come on. The problem with some men is that they think to be for women means to be against men. No. God raised men for themselves to be there. But there is a place for a woman. And when you allow women and give them their place to be women, great things begin to happen. And today, I am going to take you on a journey Come on. and show you that if God could trust a woman, it is we this woman's month it is time for our nation and the world to respect the power that is in a praying woman and when a woman prays some things break when a woman prays some chains break come on listen listen I'm not here to say men things don't happen but I am saying women are the engine of prayer when you are married that's why they said a woman is a helper. When you are married, the man is the powerhouse. But the woman is the engineer behind the scenes. Come on. Who is able to say, my husband, go on and keep on preaching. But I will be praying for this family. When we were growing up, our fathers were not even that much into church. But we knew our mothers. Hey, our mothers prayed. Come on. When our mothers prayed nations would shake be careful of a praying woman because when a woman begins to pray things begin to change a woman is one person that is compared to the Holy Spirit who was given the name of the Holy Spirit the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is a helper yet they also call the woman a helper that's why a woman can say to their husband or can say to a man Ah, uh -huh, that sister. Uh -huh, uh. And the man is like, no, she's cool. We're just friends. A woman says, mm -mm, I don't know what it is, but mm -mm. why? Because we can discern. We are like the Holy Spirit. We are the whisper in the man's ear to say, mm -mm. Hmm? so keep your wives close to you. Listen to your wives. I'm not saying let them rule over you but I'm saying listen to your helper they are there to help you listen to your helper that's why God made them as helper he said everything was good but when he created men and then women a woman was not there he said it is not good 
So when there was no woman, he said for the first time he said, "It is not good." Because the helper was missing. Some of people, they are house at Dermegar because you have made your woman your punching bag. You have made your woman something to step on. No. God values a woman. And unless you value the woman God has given you, God can never be pleased with you. Are you hearing me? That's why God, men, he created from the dust. But you didn't see him take dust and make a woman. Mm-mm. From here. From you. Right here. Huh? Not from the dust like men. Huh? That's why we are pretty. Must we are not from dust. <laughs> treasure the woman God has given you your mothers your sisters value women because when you treat your woman right and they humble themselves and submit a home functions well amen